Hi, I'm Major General Jim Atkins, the Adjutant General of Maryland. All of you have seen much discussion in the news about sequestration and other challenges to the Department of Defense budget, such as the impact of the continuing resolution, which is set to expire later this month. We have some indicators that the continuing resolution problem may be resolved in the next few weeks by Congress. This will help in some areas to include military construction. However, sequestration is now being fully implemented and the total impact on the Maryland National Guard is currently unknown. We will keep you informed as we get additional information, but here is what we know now. The uncertain fiscal year 2013 funding caused by the combined effects of a possible year-long continuing resolution and the sequestration may result in the particularly severe reductions to operation and maintenance spending. We already know that certain reductions in specific funding areas such as travel and flying hours have been implemented. The Department of Defense has assured us that Guard members already in combat zones or those who are preparing to deploy near term will not be impacted. Of course, we will continue to care for our wounded warriors and our families. We may be required to furlough National Guard technicians, freeze hiring, halt planned contracts, and stop infrastructure investments that directly impact the Maryland National Guard. The Department of Defense is also seeking authority to move funds between accounts, which will allow more flexibility in managing the fiscal challenges. If any furloughs are necessary, the agency will provide as much advance notice as possible. For other than a lapse of funds, a minimum 30 days formal notice to technicians is required. Enacting unpaid furloughs will be a measure of last resort. One possible scenario requires most military technicians to be furloughed eight hours per week between April and September for a total of 176 hours. Our workforce will be notified of furlough plans prior to enactment in accordance with the law. I know these are uncertain times. And as an organization, we will strive to share information as quickly as possible with all. There is no doubt that our nation's military will face significant challenges as we transition from the wars of the last 12 years. I am confident that we as an organization can adapt to meet these challenges. Thank you for your service to our nation and state.